Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. We are back with ESO and we're going to collect this next um, story quest for ESO um, High Eye or something. Like the thing that just like ties the two parts of the chapter together. So, um, like yeah, um, it will tie High Eyes and Amanos and Galen together. We found out that Lord Bacaro is the Ascendant Lord, which totally makes sense now as well. And then over in Galen, he actually sent everybody to the cathedral, either knowingly or unknowingly knew that the cathedral was going to get destroyed, which would kill everybody inside, which is really mean. And also, Bacaro actually was given the gauntlet to look after, the, um, one of the regalias, there was the gauntlet, the crown, I think it was, and then the staff. Bakara actually already has the gauntlet, which is not I good. told everyone, I can't in good conscience start the oh, peace talks <laughs> while the Ascendant Lord, the man I knew was Lord Bakara, was out there doing who knows what. I'm afraid I need your help again, my friend. We must keep the Druid King's regalia out of Bakaro's hands. Well, I just said uh, Bakaro already has the gauntlet, but Count Stefan and Druid Laurel have the crown and star. Then we must assume that Count Stefan and Druid Laurel are in danger. If Lord Bakaro truly believes he's the heir to the ivy throne of the Druids, he'll stop at nothing to get his way. We must go to Galen and defend the remaining regalia. Uh, what do you need me to do? Druid Ravana and I will get Zaji to sail us to Galen. While we collect the staff from the Stone Lore Circle, I want you to go to Count Stefan and protect the Druid King's crown. We'll meet you at Castle Mornard as soon as we can. I'll leave Captains Colleen and Suzo to guard the Alliance leaders while we go to Galen. First we protect the Regalia, then we stop Lord Bucaro or the Ascendant Lord or whatever he calls himself. Now, get to Vastir and protect the crown. Okie dokie, let's go, let's go. And there then, uh, we'll go inside. Search the castle. If there are more rogue knights, I want them in chains. We routed them from the library, but I'll make sure nothing was damaged or stolen. I'm glad to see you again, friend. I just wish your arrival didn't coincide with another crisis. <laughs> uh, what's going on? A contingent of knights from the Society of the Steadfast entered the castle. Not in and of itself a concern, we are allies after all. But we weren't informed of a visit. When one of my knights saw them go into the library, she went to investigate. Uh, what did your knight find? She discovered them ransacking the library. They attacked her, but she was able to fend them off and summon help. My knights routed the villains, but... We're unsure if anything was stolen, or if there are more of them hiding elsewhere in the castle. It could be the Ascendant Order. They recently stole armor from the Society. The Ascendant Order? The rogue knights that gave you trouble back on High Isle. What would they be seeking in my castle? Uh, we discovered that Lord Bakaro is the Ascendant Lord. He wants the Druid King's regalia. Then those imposters must have been looking for the Druid King's crown. Come, we need to check the library at once. And later, I want to hear more about your accusations concerning Lord Bacaro. Oh, it's not an accusation. Uh, uh, don't tell me you put the... Yeah, why would you put it in the library? I assumed it would be safe enough locked in a case in the library until I could make other arrangements. We had no reason to believe the relics were in danger. Besides, I only returned to the castle a moment before you arrived. Silly, silly, silly. Where were you when the intruders arrived? At the docks preparing to receive Lord Bacaro's ship and the relief supplies he promised. It never arrived. <laughs> I suppose that was all part of the ruse based on what you just told me. Now, let's go make sure the crown is still safely locked away. I bet The it library is, not. is this way. Oh. Wait, up? Is it up? Okay, I bet it's not safe. Idiot, who puts it in a library? Don't you have a vault or something? You are a count after all. <laughs> is he a count? Oh, wow, this is very destroyed, isn't it? Damn their eyes, they ransacked the place. Let's see if the case You're is too late, fool. The crown belongs to the Ascended Order now. No, the oh, case is yeah. empty. But how do they know to search the library, let alone behind the shelves? You have a mole. You have a mole. They stole the crown right out of my own castle. How is this possible? You said Lord Bacaro was behind this. 
I think you better tell me what you know. Lord Bakaro is the Ascendant Lord. He believes he's a descendant of the last Druid King. If you go back far enough, most Bretons have a Druid hiding somewhere in their bloodline, but so many records have been lost. How could he be certain? Regardless, why the ruse with the peace talks and the Ascendant Order? He wants to be crowned as the new Druid King, replace the Ruby Throne with the Ivy Throne. So Bakaro was behind it all. The attempts on the lives of the Alliance leaders, the death of the Arch Druids of Raval and my father. Wait, Druid Laurel! The staff, Laurel and Free, are in danger! A Lady Arabelle has gone to the Stone Law and can meant to warn Druid Laurel. Orlaith may have believed in a new age, but Bakaro is leading us toward the Green Scourge. King Kasserain's prophecy of the return of the Druid King, it predicts two possibilities either an era of peace and harmony. Or a time of nature run amok. Uh, what should we do? Go to Glimmer Tarn and make sure Laurel and the staff are safe. I'll gather what knights I can spare. See if Captain Siravain is willing to aid us once more. I have a feeling we'll need all the help we can get to stop Bakaro and his ascendant order. Uh, Captain Siravain is still on the island? Siravain is a mercenary, but she and her gilded blade proved themselves trustworthy against the dread sails and the fire song. Since then, we've been paying her to help with the relief efforts. We needed every ship we could hire. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this here. Um, and oh, can I climb over this? This would make things so much easier. <laughs> Sorry to ruin your library even more. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I have the feeling it's gonna be one of these things where he, oh cool, <laughs> where he gets all of the regalia, and then it's gonna be like a boss fight type thing. So let's go and see. So this quest as well, I don't think I said, it's called the Ivy Throne. Druidkin! Oh, thank Ifre you're here. Something terrible. Rot in damnation. This way. Lord Bakaro, he betrayed us! Uh, tell me everything that happened. Lord Bakaro and a contingent of steadfast knights arrived with their usual crates of supplies. He took me aside, warned me that the Ascendant Order was after the Druid King's regalia. He wanted to make sure the staff was still safe. And let me guess, he took it. What did you do? Blight it all. But I did just what you'd expect. He's our ally. Or I thought he was. I showed him that the staff was safe, and he grabbed it. Ordered his knights to hold us back. He has all three of the regalia, friend. All three. Man, you guys are so stupid. <laughs> uh, then what happened? We tried to resist, but we were no match for his knights. Then Bakaro displayed the regalia, proclaimed himself the Druid King, and commanded Free to follow him. And they did. That's when Lady Arabelle arrived. Wait, Stefan, is he all right? Will you two just get married already? I uh, count Stefan is fine, where's Lady Arabelle? As soon as I explained what happened, Lady Arabelle and her companions went after Bakaro. I told them we saw him leading free toward Ifre's path. I stayed behind to tend to the wounded. But this smacks of the green scourge. I'll go with you. Okay, uh, any idea why Lord Bakari would take free to your free's path? How should I know how that blighter thinks? Lady Arabelle told me that he's the Ascendant Lord, which now makes sense. As soon as he revealed his treachery, his knights threw off their cloaks and revealed themselves to be the Ascendant Order. Uh, you said he claimed to be the new Druid King. What happens now? I'm not sure. Other than Orlaith, no one else has ever attempted to claim the title. At least not to my knowledge. Is it enough to just possess the regalia? Is that why he needs free? To legitimize his claim? I'm not sure. Still, this is bad. Yeah, I'm not sure you can just grab it all and be like, I am the new king. <laughs> I'm okay, bad in what way? In every way. Everything I know tells me the druid king can command nature. Wield it like a tool or a weapon. If the title is taken by force, the prophecy tells us it begins an age of destruction. The Green Scourge. She seemed far too happy about that. Okay, did somebody just We kill lost somebody? Bakaro in Ifray's path. Lady Arabelle is still out there. Thank you, Nyron. The druid kin and I will take it from here. So, off we go, off we go. This is the trail they took into Ifray's path. Yeah! Oh, this place down here? This is where that big tree is. Oh gosh. Yeah! Not the most graceful yeah! riders. <laughs> oh. Go and help them. Okay, yeah, sure. sure. Um optional to speak with Zaji. I'm not sorry. 
Good to smell you, Five Claw. Rivana thinks Bakaro came here for a purpose. He's not far ahead. Okay, wait. It's also optional to speak to Kasha, so I'm not going to. Just because I feel like we've had enough talking. Enough talking. Over here, my friend. Lady Arabelle followed them through that door. This one through the echo, yeah. Again, it's optional to speak with her. I'm not going to. All these yeah, plants were recently tree. torn away. This door must have been hidden for ages. I swear it was here. At least I think it was. <laughs> okay, so we actually... That's Lady no, Arabelle. It's all the past. What's she doing? I got no freaking idea. Oh gosh. Careful, dear. And watch where you step. Sorry. <laughs> curious. Now, don't be alarmed, dear, but I happen to have stepped where I shouldn't have. I suppose I owe Druid Ravana an apology. The lingering effects of the poison do seem to have made me somewhat discombobulated. Uh, uh, what did you step on? A pressure plate, I think. Some sort of trap put here who knows when and by who knows who. That can wait, though. I followed Lord Bakaro in here. He met with a group of Druids. Fire Song, I think. He promised them vengeance against the Stone Lord. And what about Free? Were they here with him? The Nature Spirit? Yes, they were here. I couldn't quite tell if they were a prisoner or not. The Corridor did say he needed them to talk to Ifray's path, whatever that means. You need to go after them, my dear. And what about you? We need to get you off this pressure plate. Oh, I agree. But that's not going to be done quickly. And as long as I remain in place, we are all perfectly safe. You go on ahead. Druid Laurel can stay here and help me disarm this insidious contraption. Okay, now. Don't move, Lady Arabelle. Let me see what I can do. Not a muscle, dear lady. Go. Find the and in place. So how can hers then bring down loads of rocks on her? <laughs> Sorry. You gotta see it. Gotta, you gotta Stop stand on it. <laughs> Don't let them reach the ritual site! Oh, I really like that. Go down, I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss it. Obey your king. Destroy the Stone Lord Circle and their allies. Darth Vader, calm down. Oh, it's a red one. Come back here, Bakaro, okay. you coward! 
Interesting. Short lived. An old right. druidic summoning chamber. I want to examine these carvings. Damn my clumsiness. If not for the fact that we were delayed by that trap, we could have been here to help you with that creature. Then maybe Lord Bakara wouldn't have been able to slip away. Are you calling me slow? <laughs> um, Bakara summoned the spirit to destroy the Stone Lord Druids and to deal with us. Hmm. I assume this was at least in part a test of sorts, to see if he could actually call forth a spirit and command it. Plus, he wanted to prove to his followers that he is worthy of the Druid King's regalia. Where do you think Lord Bakari went? Somewhere he can further strengthen and consolidate his power, especially since he knows we're on to him. Druid Laurel is examining the stone carvings. Perhaps they can tell us something. Take a look and talk to her, dear. Sure These carvings thing. tell an interesting story. Take a look, my friend. This carving shows the Druid King binding a spirit into Mount Firesong. This carving depicts the spirit slumbering within the volcano. See the Druid King's regalia? This carving indicates a possible future. See how the spirit awakens and the volcano erupts? It's a warning. I always say, when Ancient Druids called upon the spirits of the green at their own peril. Only the Druid King was ever able to do so safely. It's why we abandoned the practice long ago. This is where they did it. At least where some of them did it. Uh, what do you think the stone carvings are meant to tell us? Like so much of the ancient knowledge that remains, these carvings are open to interpretation. Obviously, we can see the spirits of the green. Forces of nature in the bosom of Ifray. Then we see a spirit slumbering beneath Mount Firesong. The way Free was slumbering, slumbering before the Firesong awoke and... Very much so. And the spirit must be extremely powerful due to how sacred Mount Firesong is. I think that's what the final carving tells us. Let the sleeping spirit lie. For generations, that's been one of the Firesong's primary purposes. What do you think all this means? I think Bakaro plans to call forth the spirit of Mount Firesong with the Druid King's regalia. With a spirit of that magnitude, the armies of Tamriel won't stand a chance. Go to Vastir, and tell Stefan to prepare his ships. We must go to Ifalon. Okay, dokes. If we're going to stop Bakaro, we're going to need help. Go to Castle Mornard and rally Count Stefan's knights. I'll make sure the rest of us are ready. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Am I in the wrong place? Don't think I'm in the wrong place. Where else could you be? Oh, I know you. Ingrid Van told me to give you her regards. Okay, thank you. Just lingering nightmares. Down here. I hope you'll reconsider. This threat endangers us all. The Gilded Blades aren't mercenaries to call on to clean up your mess, Count Stefan. My knights are ready, but Captain Siravain isn't convinced she wants to join us in this particular fight. But never mind that. Is Druid Laurel all right? Is the Sacred Staff safe? Uh, Laurel is fine, but Lord Bacaro has all three re uh, regalia and three. Uh, we think they're headed to Ephelon. Damn it all to oblivion! At least Laurel is alright. I've assembled what knights I can spare, but we could really use Siravain and the Gilded Blades. Maybe you can convince her to help. I can try. I'd appreciate it. I've been banging my head against that particular wall for hours now. Remind her that if Lord Bacaro takes control of the archipelago, any safe ports she has on Galen will evaporate like a drop of water in a hot skillet. I can never get enough of the food you landbound eat. It's so delicious. <laughs> the Lordling sent you over to convince me to help, didn't he? My answer is the same. Why should I care about your political drama? Lord Pekaro has declared himself the new Druid King. And that concerns me how, exactly? If Druids want a king or not, that's their business, not mine. See, Lord Nalos was my problem, and I took care of it. What happens on Galen next doesn't matter to me. 
Well, I kind of took care of it, but all right. Um, we helped you defeat Sea Lord Narlos and get your crew back. Uh, Just because our purposes aligned once doesn't mean we'll sail side by side forever, mercenary. We both wanted Narlos dead, and now he is. That was a win for both of us. I'd need a more compelling reason to risk my crew again. How's this? If Lord Picaro and his allies take control, no port in the islands will be safe for you. That is certainly something I hadn't considered. I do like the safe haven that the Lordling has provided us with. And what was that about allies? Bakaro is working with the Fire Song? Alright, you convinced me. My ship is yours, for now. Okay, great. I knew you'd come around, Syravane. Let's meet at the Vastir docks. Awesome stuff, okay. To the docks, to the docks. Aww. Saji's here too. It's good to see you, dear. <laughs> and is that Count Stefan? Glad House Mornard could join us, Your Excellency. Captain Zaji's ship is ready to sail. Next stop, Ifalon. Okay, great. So we just have to sail. And we get on this little skiff, of course. Come, dear. We have plans to make. Laurel, Ravana, and I talked during the voyage. If Lord Bakaro truly means to awaken the spirit of the volcano, he's going to need to do it from inside Mount Firesong. And since he knows we're coming, he'll throw everything he has in our way. So what do you propose? Sleight of hand, my dear. Count Stefan and Captain Siravane landed farther up the beach. While our allies draw attention at the main entrance, you and I will follow in their wake and find another way into the mountain. Uh, do you know of another entrance we can use? Laura wasn't sure, but she thinks she remembers a cave to the right of the main entrance. Let's search around. If nothing else presents itself, we'll see where that cave leads. She thinks. Okay. Right, we were here a little while ago. When, like, we separated all the regalia and stuff. The Ascendant Order's forces pulled back to the main entrance into the mountain. Siravane and her pirates went after them. Okay. I wonder if it's the same path as what we took before. Sorry, his I was ascendant at her. order <laughs> barnacles are cowards. They flee at the first sign of a worthy opponent. I was shooting at her, thinking she was bad. I apologize. <laughs> Okay, this cave round here, the one that's smoking. This tunnel cuts deep into the mountain. Hopefully it will lead us to Lord Bacaro. Fire Song Druids, proceed with caution, dear. The Druid King calls forth the spirit of the volcano. Soon our enemies will perish in lava and flame. Bacaro has started. We have to hurry. I mean, it's kind of cool, but I feel like we would like literally burn to a crisp. Oh, sorry, I didn't want to do that. I feel like we need like a spell or something to keep us cool, maybe. Oh, let's kill this guy just in case. <laughs> and I'll also eat some. Just in case. Oh, 
Oh no, he's actually got like free doing this stuff. Let's go down here. Free, Don't what are you doing? stop my brothers and sisters. The spirit of the volcano stirs. Are they like taking everything from the free? The lava is rising. We don't have much time. Bakaro wields the regalia. He commands the spirits to awaken, and now the volcano awakens too. Lord Bakaro truly is insane. Stay with Bree, my friend. I need to warn the others. Are we gonna get burnt? The false king is no. farther up the mountain. I will help in any way I can. Okay, sounds good. Wait, I completely lost where we are. She just disappeared. When Mount Firesong erupts, many lives will be lost. Lava will consume the archipelago. not have just like a run past but that's really cool kind of reminds me of Dagon a little bit bye Controlled. Spirit of Mount Fire Song, lend me your strength. Give me the power to destroy my enemies. I am Lord Bakaro, the Ascendant Lord, the Druid King. Soon the alliances will 
be nothing but cinders and ash! He joined with the spirit! Now the volcano will follow its nature! It will explode! Cool. <laughs> Over here, I will summon another wind vortex. Step into the wind before the lava consumes us. King is farther up than that. I will help in any way I can. Another wind thing. The false king is farther up the mountain. Ah. I will help in any way I can. The Am false king is farther up the mountain. I will help in any way I can. is farther up the mountain. I will help in any way I can. You've said it six times already, Free. I'm sure you can stop now. They're going the wrong way, they're going the wrong way. This way. Engine packs. Broken. Ain't the false king is farther up the mountain. I will help in any way I can. Oh god. They're in the competition. I know probably like, oh, you don't have to like run off, but it's just easier to try to get it. The false king is farther up the mountain. I will help in any way I can. Okay, here we go, here we go. This looks like the final boss fight. I'm gonna take that regalia, you know. Packs broken. Ancient promises ignored. No oh, more alliances. I like the no idea. more ruby throne. The era of the Ivy Throne begins now. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I mean, that was gonna happen. <laughs>
what you're supposed to do. That didn't happen the first time. Okay. That's it. Firesong fled when the False King died. The volcano has no spirit to calm it now. The False King is gone, but so is the spirit of the mountain. Without a spirit to calm it, Mount Firesong's rage will continue unchecked. Isn't there any way to stop it? Perhaps, if the balance is restored. A new spirit must fill the void in Mount Firesong's heart. I will be that spirit. Oh, okay. Uh, what does that mean? It means I will calm the volcano before it destroys the archipelago. Attempt to contain most of the damage to Iphelon. But I will need your help, friend of Laurel. Friend of Free. Ah, what do you need me to do? Place the regalia to form a circle around me. Then command me to bind myself to the mountain. You are not the Druid King. But with the regalia and my willingness, the binding should hold. Oh. Then I will do what I can to quiet the volcano. I okay, sure. What happens to you after that? I will remain, but I will be different. As the seed becomes a tree, I shall become the spirit of the mountain, and I will slumber as well Mount Firesong. Now take the crown and the gauntlet and place them around me. Okay. What Quickly, friend. Ask? Place the gauntlet and crown to form a ritual circle. I really want them as like motifs or something. Now he is the spirit of Mount Firesong. Now the volcano will be still. Goodbye, friend. Bye. And thank you. The volcano erupted, but except for the top of the mountain, Ephelon is intact. I very much want... I got everyone back to the ship before the volcano fully erupted, but even so, I'm surprised we're all still alive. Care to enlighten us about what happened inside Mount Firesong, dear? I defeated Lord Bukaro, but Free took the place of the mountain spirit. They contained the eruption. Free was able to contain all that power. They saved the archipelago, the alliance leaders, all of us. But where's Free now? Why didn't they return with you? You said they took the place of the spirit. What does that mean? Uh, I'm not sure, but I don't think Free is coming back. They're part of Mount Firesong now. Oh, poor Free. Their sacrifice saved us all. I'll remember them fondly for that. And you're sure Lord Bukaro is defeated? Without their leader, his ascendant order should fade away. But what happened to the Druid King's regalia, dear? Free used the regalia to bind themselves to the mountain. I think it was destroyed by the volcano. It's just as well. As long as the Druids remain divided, they aren't ready for a new king. And I'm not sure how Emmerich and the others would react to another royal in their midst. Well, talk to our friends, dear. Then we should return to Vastia. Yeah, for the peace talks, maybe. Um... Optional steps is to talk with everyone else. Okay, right. We're just gonna head back. Over here, my dear. Count Stefan and I have something for you. 
<gasps> Is it the regalia? <laughs> I'm joking. You're really making a habit out of saving the archipelago and of aiding me. Thanks to you, we revealed Lord Bacaro as a traitor, saved the islands from an erupting volcano, and ended the threat of the false druid king. Well done, my dear. What about the Ascendant Order? Don't worry about them. Without a leader, they'll quickly fade away. Now we just need to proceed with the peace talks. We're back on track and the archipelago is safe thanks to you. Now take this. Count Stefan and I wanted you to have it. Okay. Right. We finally have a moment to think, but there's still work to do. Galen and the entire archipelago owe you a debt, my friend. You have my thanks. The druids will never forget what you and Free did to save us. Okay, so we finished... Um, okay, so that quest was called the Ivy Throne and the next one will be called And Now Perhaps Peace. So... Yeah, what we'll do is I'll leave this one here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope that you are enjoying it. Um, we've just got one more like main quest to do, which I feel like will be a lot of talking. So yeah, I'll leave this one here. Let me know what you thought of that end boss fight. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.